and welcome to my channel. I'm going to be showing you 15, that's right, 15 different hairstyles for back to school. We're going to do them heatless and we're going to do them quick and they're going to be super easy and all you need is just like bobby pins and rubber bands and it's just super simple stuff like that. I cannot wait for you guys to see this. This video is going to be so much fun. And I will be using some new products from Tara Smith. They have all kinds of products and they have these cute little birdies on them, which, oh my gosh, I love so much. And I just want to let you guys know before we start the video, I did use the thickening cream in the hair um, while it was damp and then I blew dry my hair and my hair is just blow dried. It had no prior heat on it. So just know that while doing these tutorials. Also, I have a discount code. It's Tara10 for $10 off your purchase of $35 or more. Um, and free shipping so that's down below so, but I'm telling you a lot of these hair tutorials will work best if they have a little bit of texture in your hair that's why I use the thickening cream just to give it some sprucing up in texture and then you'll see me using a couple other products just to do serums to smooth it out and things like that they're all by Tara Smith and all these products are cruelty free vegan organic and chemical free so they will be really nice for your hair I'll have everything below so check it out Please give it a thumbs up if you did learn some new hairstyles and we're just going to jump right in and uh, we're going to do our hair. For our first tutorial, I am going to be taking the first half of my hair right up front and I'm going to French braid it to my head which is just simply braiding the hair and then grabbing an extra piece and then braiding it on where it's basically stuck to the top of your head. This one is going to be easy peasy lemon squeezy but just to let you know all these tutorials are going to be super simple. Then I'm going to secure it to my head with two bobby pins and that is it for this first tutorial. And then I'll add just a little bit of the Shining Moment Glosser just to give our hair a little bit of a glowy shine finish. Then I'm going to take that exact same braid and take the bobby pins out, secure it with a rubber band. That way the braid does not come loose for this next tutorial. I'm going to add a little bit extra shine to it because I like the front of the hair to have this nice glowy shine. And then I'm going to take the other pieces of my hair and I'm going to simply braid it. And that way we have that braid in the top of our hair, braid it down into the bottom and it creates this super chic braid. We're going to secure it with a little elastic and then I am going to leave a lot of excess hair at the end. That way we have room to stretch out the braid and make it kind of messy and fat. Ta-da! And that is it for this one. For our next one, this is my favorite. I take a little headband, I wrap it around my head, and then I wrap my hair up and I tuck it in the headband. This one's actually gonna be a little bit easier if you have shorter hair, but then I just focus on making sure all the pieces are tucked in nicely. That is the only thing I use for this. Look how easy, it literally took me 30 seconds to do this hairdo. Oh my gosh, and it is so freaking cute. This is probably my favorite of all. Next, we are going to take the hair right from the top of the ears and all the way up to the top of the head. Then I'm going to secure it into a little ponytail on top of my head. I'm going to tighten that ponytail and just to give it a little bit of extra chicness, I'm going to take a little piece of hair, wrap it around the rubber band and bobby pin it in the back and that way that just cleans up the look a little bit. And voila! Now we are going to actually create a look using that half up, half down hairdo. I then wrapped my hair up and created this little bitty ball on top of my head. Then I went from the very center and I started pulling it out which made the bun tighter at the roots and then I bobby pinned the bun to the head and we basically had this really cute half up, half down updo. Next, I'm going to part the hair in the middle, creating a butt cut, and then I am going to French braid the pieces down to the sides of my head. Next, I'm going to tuck the pieces behind the ear and I'm going to secure it with one bobby pin. I'm going to do the exact same thing to the other side of my head, French braiding it down the side of my head, tucking it behind the ear and securing it with one bobby pin. Use as many bobby pins if you, as you need, but the smaller you make the braid, the easier it's going to stay in place. And that is it for this hairstyle and it is so freaking cute for back to school. It's adorable and it looks like you spent so much time on your hair. Then I'm going to of course mist the hair with the glosser. I love the way this stuff makes my hair shine. 
For the next one, we're going to need a bandana, and I'm going to part my hair on the side, pulling down any straggly pieces just to make this one a little bit more messy. Then I'm going to take my hair, put it in a half ponytail, and then one more time, put it in another half ponytail. I'm going to start pulling the big bun forward, and that way we have this weird ball on our head, and you see all that messiness hanging out. We're just going to secure it down and kind of tuck it in and clean up the look just a little bit. Then I'm going to plop the bandana on top of my head. I'm going to add a banana clip in the back to keep my bun sticking up and I'm gonna pull down any excess pieces but that long weird string of hair I'm gonna actually pin that in the back and I'm gonna gloss my hair for the finish this glosser is my favorite product it's my favorite hair product of all times I'm obsessed with it anyways so it I mean look how shiny my hair is okay let me stop next hairstyle I'm going to apply my hair in a big ponytail I'm gonna take it split it in two pieces and twist those two pieces around then I'm going to take those two pieces and I'm going to twirl them around. And that is going to give us this really cool, it's not a braid, it's just like a rope in our hair. And I am going to secure it with a rubber band. Kind of important for this one is to add a serum because the rope can get look a little dry or hairs can shoot out. But I added this base coat serum by Tara Smith to smooth out all the pieces shooting out of the uh, rope braid thing Shim did here. And then I just smooth the hair down. Next, I'm going to tie my hair up halfway, and then I'm going to stop with a little bun in the back, not pull it all the way through. I'm going to split the bun in half and take half the hair hanging down and wrap it through, tucking it under. I hope you understood that. And we have the cutest bow in the world in the back of our head. Oh my god, how cute is that? And it literally took me less than one minute to create this hairstyle. Perfect for back to school, and it's adorable. For this next one, I'm going to take the first half of my hair, I'm going to back comb it a little bit or tease it, and then I'm going to secure it down with a bobby pin, creating what I like to call a poof. <laughs> then I'm going to lift the rest of my hair up into a high ponytail, being sure not to pull the poof out, and I'm going to do that half bun, or that half ponytail, and then do it again, just like I did for the bandana style, and pull the hair tight. Then I'm going to secure it to the head tying down all the loose pieces that way it's not too crazy and we have this voluminous messy bun next I am simulating spraying the glosser in the hair because you need to put some type of gloss shine down to slick down the first half of your hair and make sure you have it in butt cut then I'm going to take those two pieces tie it around the back of my head secure it to this weird little ponytail like that I'm going to let down the crown of my hair. Keep in mind, I do have the thickening cream in it, and it's going to help this part so much. I teased the back of my hair, but I'm telling you guys, the thickening cream, like, look at the volume at the top of my hair. It's the thickening cream by Tara Smith. You're going to need some kind of texture in your hair for that one. This one, I'm going to flip my hair over to the opposite side of my head, secure it, making a ponytail. Then I'm going to turn it into a topsy tail by flipping the hair through. I'm going to do the exact same thing all the way through the ponytail. This creates a fake fishtail braid, and it is the cutest braid ever. And because I flipped my hair on the opposite side of my head, my hair has more volume on top. For this next hairstyle, again, I'm going to tease the crown of my head. I'm going to apply a little bit of glosser, slick down the front of my hair. And then I'm going to create this ponytail with a lot of volume in the back. This is a very chic, nice ponytail. And just to make it a little bit chicer, of course, I'm going to cover the rubber band with that piece of hair, wrapping it around and securing it with a bobby pin. Look how cute this ponytail is. All right, for our next hairstyle, I'm going to flip my hair over. I'm going to tie it up on top of my head. And I'm going to pull just the front half of my hair. See that? Just the front pieces to pull the hair up. And then I'm going to pull out the top half of my hair just to give it some volume and some lift. And there we have this adorable high ponytail. We're going to cover the rubber band just to clean it up a little bit, secure it with a bobby pin. I love this high pon ponytail. It's kind of a go-to for me lately, actually. Next, I'm going to take a little bit of serum because you don't want your ends to be frayed. And I'm going to shine up those ends and make it way more sleek. Yes, yes, girl. If none of these hairstyles work for you. You can simply put a blue wig on and go to school. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe before you leave, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.